Hey guys, what's up and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go through my perfume collection to let you guys know what my favorites. I feel like this is something that I've been wanting to do, but I've been putting off and today I ended up filming I actually didn't end up filming, I ended up filming for reels, so I decided since I'm already dressed, we would film this video. So if you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to start out with is from Mason Margiela, which I just recently got put on their PR list. So for Mason Margiela, I have the By the Fireplace. This is actually a candle, it does actually come in a fragrance as well, but I will say that this is pretty perfect for the fall and winter months because it definitely smells very smoky and honestly it's like such a really unique scent. I don't have anything like this in my collection and as you guys can see I have already burned so much of this. Initially I was trying to kind of like save this but I just feel like this is a perfect winter candle. A pretty pricey candle. I believe it retails for $65 at Sephora, which can be definitely on the steeper side of prices, especially for candles. But I will say this is definitely something that you need to check out if you are into kind of having a different scent for each season. This one is newer to my collection. It's from Skylar, and this is the Vanilla Sky fragrance specifically. I love the packaging. I think it's like very unique and honestly really fun. I don't know why this doesn't close all the way. It definitely did when I first got it, but I'm not sure what happened. So now it just kind of like sits there. Like warm scent definitely would be like, I feel like I would rank it as like by the fireplace and then I would rank this one, which is Vanilla Sky, because this is also kind of like in a similar family because it is so like, sweet and very indulgent that it really just reminds me of like the winter time and the holiday season. I feel like it's a really different brand and Skylar is kind of newer. I do believe they sell at Sephora as well and they're a clean beauty brand which is really cool. Um, they have tons of fragrances. I just specifically got this one sent to me from the brand and I will say this is like hands down one of my favorites. It honestly reminds me of a Victoria's Secret scent which I think it's called Amber so this is kind of like the more bougie version of that and this definitely has a long lasting power I will say when I spray this on my clothing like literally by the end of the day when I'm like taking off my clothes I could still sell I could still smell it which is really great so this is also supposed to be like more affordable it's still not completely affordable which I feel like most fragrances aren't unfortunately but I will say this is definitely a really cool brand and this scent specifically is really good for the colder months. Something that I actually wanted to mention which is so random but this is from Way and this is the Melrose Place body cream. I wanted to mention this because this is such a good scent. I'll have the notes on the screen. I know that Way has their own scents that they release, which I do have a Way perfume that I'm going to show you in a minute. But now that I have the scent Melrose Place in this, it's definitely something that I want to pick up because I really like the body cream as well. Um, I do have a sample. This is one ounce, and this is actually made with coconut oil and squalane, so it's really good for your skin. But I will say it is very hydrating and the scent lasts for a really long time. So definitely check this out because this is something where like I took it with me on vacation and then my friends were using it as well and they were also equally obsessed. This is definitely not something that I would consider to be like a winter scent, but it's honestly very unique and it's a really like powerful fragrance. Way North Bondi perfume. I wouldn't say that this is a winter scent, but I did want to mention it because it is a really good scent. This really reminds me of like the summertime. It's very beachy almost and you know the name North Bondi just really seals the deal and I would love to try out more way scents in the future, but this one is just not my favorite. It's probably ranked lower in terms of my collection, but nonetheless it's a really good day-to-day fragrance and really good for like a day wear. This one is just such a good scent. This is My Way by Giorgio Armani. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. It's not bad packaging. It's just not my favorite. I just feel like the frosted glass I don't really like, 
but I will say this is a really really good scent it's kind of sweet and but it's like sophisticated sweet it's not completely sweet like I would say vanilla sky is sweet this is like a more sophisticated version of that the lasting power of this one is like phenomenal and Armani does such a good job with their scents in general that I was so happy to try this because it is amazing and it's definitely my top tier perfume. Two of these are from the brand Mason Margiela. I have Beach Walk and I have Matcha Meditation. These two are just amazing. I really didn't understand the hype with Mason Margiela. I mean in terms of like I you know would go to Sephora and like it would be so expensive for like a full size and even the samples of these are really expensive as well but i will say it's a hundred percent worth it if you're asking me which one i like more hundred percent matcha meditation is my favorite beach walk is really good as well so like let's get into that i really love this one this is the fragrance description is sun kissed salty skin so as you guys can probably tell this is a more summer type of scent but i will say i mean i wear this one all the time so love this this is just one of my favorite scents ever because it is just such a unique scent i will go ahead and put the notes on the screen it does have that like beachy um elements to it but it's not completely like a summer scent in my opinion it's definitely something you can get use out of year round and with these packagings you actually don't have like a cover on these so that's something to beware. It's just the way that it's packaged. This is my all-time favorite Mason Marcella scent so far in my collection. This is Matcha Meditation. Um, all of these have like a time period that it's supposed to be reminiscent of. And this is from Tokyo 2008. It is Zen Scents of Matcha Tea. And it definitely has that matcha scent to it. So really like earthy and fresh. I don't know if you guys know this, but green is like one of my favorite colors. This is honestly one of the best things I've ever smelled. I think if you're going to try anything from Mason Margiela, definitely pick up this one because it is such a light and earthy fragrance and it's very like herbal. I will just continue repurchasing this. It is such a good scent. Very warm and herbal, so I feel like you'd be able to use this for so many different occasions. It's definitely, like, when I smell it, it really just reminds me of, like, a really good, like, date night scent. It is honestly one of my favorites. Getting into something that I don't like, and I don't know why I own it. What I like about this more than the scent is the packaging. It's very classy and sophisticated. And it's not that I hate this. It is just too powdery and too swirly that it gives like grandma vibes i just feel like it's very mature and it's way too mature in a sense where i just don't like it 